Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our right, new vlog. Oh, <laughs> we're just following the set now. We've only just set off a couple of minutes ago. It's very early in the morning. It's like seven o'clock. That's why I look so dreadful because I'm so tired. Um, we are heading to the Lake District today. <laughs> That's my silver. So we're going to head to Ambleside. Um, it's somewhere that we've been before. A couple of, I think it was like in, in lockdown. Well, not in lockdown technically, but. And it was that eat out to help out kind of scheme. Um, we stayed in Kendall um, for about four nights, was it, I think, and we explored all around. And we said then, like, it's so close. And like, we were driving home, and we were like, gosh, it doesn't take that long. Like, I know it's like two hours, but it's not that long to go and like explore the day, have a day there and stuff. And what's that saying now? An hour and 30, an hour and 40 minutes. Um, then, you know, it's such a beautiful place to go. So we're literally all gonna go today. So it's me, Aunt and Matilda. My mum's gonna come. Jasper's all strapped in his seat. He heard his name. He's like, what, me? He's all collecting in his car seat, so he's all ready as well. And we're ready for a nice day, so we'll catch up with you probably when we get there now. Um, but we'll see you soon. And we are here, so we're parked up in Ambleside, just down the side of the Ferndale Hotel there. There was a car park. Um, it's really quiet at the minute. It's like everybody's asleep. But look at how gorgeous it is. The last time we parked up down there on that car park, didn't we, last time? And you can see the bus stops there as well. That's going into Grasmere, that bus. It's really, really beautiful. Look at all these buildings. So we're going to go and find somewhere to have a coffee. Or oh, a hot chocolate. Oh, that's the chocolate shop we went in. Is it not open yet? This is a lovely chocolate shop we came to last time. Looks like it's not open at the minute. Yeah. We've got time it's open. We're definitely going to try another nosy in there later. It's really, really gorgeous chocolate shop. Um, but we're currently going to go and have a look for something to drink. A really pretty little area of little shops here. So, apple pie cafe and bakery. Famous apple pie. You can have it plain or with, um, what does it say? Oh, mixed spice and sultanas, sweet buns, cakes, tray bakes, drinks. Breakfast. And you can stay overnight. Really nice, isn't it? What's mine? Bath bun. In the pit, in the in the cafe at the beginning. Oh, toasted toasted bath bun from latte. Sure, sausage butty. Six pound ninety five. Matilda's a cinnamon swirl. Was four pound forty five. Orange hot chocolate. That's nice, isn't it, Matilda? Orange hot chocolate. Okay, so this is where we've just been for breakfast. So it's called the Apple Pie Bakery and Cafe. So outside is the cafe entrance, sorry, the bakery entrance where you can go and get takeaway or you can go inside and have um, food inside. So it's just this area around here. Um, so I'll just tell you the, quickly tell you the prices again now. Um, so this was for the full thing. So it was £33.70. So one cinnamon swirl, two toasted bath bun, one orange hot chocolate, one normal hot chocolate, two lattes and a sausage sandwich. Sorry, my mum's with us today and she's not too keen on me filming her. But this is gorgeous, this. Oh, has it not turned on? So this is just outside in the Apple Pie Cafe called the Flying Fleece. And they've got a water wheel. But it's really beautiful, look at this. Just all trickling down. Look. So this is the Apple Pie Cafe Bakery. So you can actually buy the full apple pies. That's the bath bun we had for breakfast slice. They've got all sorts of cake, jam and cream, donuts. You can buy the cinnamon swirls. It's okay. You can buy sandwiches. What else can you buy? Oh, so this is where you buy them from here. Oh yeah, look at those. The bath bun. They're nice, aren't they? Look at these little teapots. Oh, you can get a thing with some of the apron they wear in the shop. That's the aprons they wear. Look at the bags and things. Oh, it tells you 10% spelt, 10% rye, 80% white, county sourdough, malted grain, white loaf, wholemeal, bath buns, jam. 
Ah, look at these sausage rolls, Cornish pastas. There's the cinnamon swirl you made, Matilda. Look. Oh yeah, they must be like late or something. Yeah. And then where's the? And then there's a the little. Okay, so we went into the Mountain Warehouse shop and they had loads of things for sale in there. Definitely a really good shop to go in, it's just past the Apple Pie Cafe. Um, then we stopped in the Apple Pie Cafe and I showed you all the stuff in there. We've got the apple pies and the bath buns. Then we've now come into this other shop that's, I'm not sure what it's called, it's just like a shop that's closing down with all the stuff in for sale. Um, so Matilda's trying on some little t-shirts at the minute. Okay, so just off the main stretch, we went in the Tesco, just out there. The Tesco is here and we got some water. Matilda went in a bookshop and we've just took all that back to the car and we've come down this little road here, Stockgill Vansville Pike. And this is where the waterfall is up here. So it says to the waterfall, has a big sign there, waterfall. You can go in the pub opposite as well, the Amble side in. That's where um, you have accessible... Um, you have access to toy public toilets. The only thing is, is a lot of the pubs don't open till 11 o'clock and a lot of the private cafes don't let you go to the toilet either. And you've got to be careful for this because it is an actual road, even though you wouldn't believe it. But they look nice, Loft Sweet Avenue. Look at the who still love them planters. They're really nice, aren't they? So we're gonna head up here in the shade. Looks like a really good day today. This way to the waterfall. So now we've come off the main track and we're on the like path bit here. It took us a bit longer to get up there because it was, I found it really hard. I mean, a lot of pain already. Um, it was very hard for me that. So we stopped a bit and luckily Jasper pulled me up a bit as well. Now he's gonna have a wee on that tree, he says. It's really nice. It's the last time we came here, it was pouring, wasn't it? And the water was just yeah, pouring it. Oh, look at that Matilda under there. Look like a little, walking, Lord, see, like a little tunnel. Oh, wow. Like a little bridge underneath, isn't it? Yeah. That's so cool. So we've got a sign here. It says, follow the red arrows to the falls. So that's where we've come so far. Stopped off on that little bench and enjoyed the waterfall. The problem is, is the floor's really uneven and rocky as well. Probably wasn't a good idea. Last time we did it was about four years ago. And I was a lot better than what I am now. But we're having a go, what's Jasper found? His face full of mud. So there's the big long tree. Wow, look at that. Look at the roots on it as well. Oh, one for daddy. Thank you. So it's completely been upturned, the tree absolutely huge look at the roots it's gorgeous and here's the waterfall i think we're only about halfway up though if you look close you can see people up over there that are like climbing out onto the rocks there they are i think that's when they get a good picture but this is a really nice little viewing area people have put like them padlocks on here and stuff so this is where we came from, right down there. It's really pretty. It's really nice at the top of here, isn't it? I've seen them people sat on the rocks taking pictures. Yeah. So nice though. So we've just come over this lovely bridge where you can see the waterfall underneath. So beautiful. Wow, have we got to go down there? No, or up there? It's two ways. And now we're on the way down. Oh, it's like one piece. Look at this. What, is it ants? It's pennies. Look, thy oh, yeah, people put in. Ten p. All over the branch. <laughs> put them with the knife, aren't they? Slip them oh. in. Wow. All the way up. Oh, money tree. And here we are on the way down. Like say, it's much easier walking down after we went down the wrong way at first following some ramblers got completely stuck in a random bit which was really really hard to get down now it looks like we're finding another really hard bit that you can see just down there so this is part of the way down it is actually the tree roots that have just uprooted in the path this is the path because there's the wooden bits 
it's really really hard to get down really hard so this is really pretty we've just been like not paddling just jumping over the standing over in the middle there and having our photo of all the water there's a dog on this side keep throwing the stone and people are paddling in it it's really really nice look how pretty that is so last time we came the water was flooding down here and it was all around here all the way down so lovely though isn't it you could just sit here and just listen to the water so peaceful and we're out of the forest area and we're going back down into Ambleside and we've just come back out onto the main road so you can see there's the sign waterfall and there we are there's the pub Ambleside in and the bookshop that we went to in the Tesco and then it was down right down in the corner there was the apple pie cafe and there's another little hotel it's full of little hotels isn't it and, oh that's the one the Ambleside Solution Hotel and Spa sorry Salatay that's what we just went past day just with a car coming out so it's just at the back of the waterfall here really really lovely though it's a gorgeous day I mean look at this clear sky over there with the trees and the mountains and the clouds gorgeous. just stopped at a shop in the village and they've got all these crocheted shirts so this feel and a gingy Pussing boots, Lord Farquhar, and then of course Shrek as well. Um, and there's an information thing here about it as well. Um, so it's all for donations, which we've obviously done, but donating to the air ambulance. Um, it just says as hard as it is, please don't touch it. Oh my gosh, I think we just found the cheapest shop in the Lake District. These are £15 each, and they've even got a group. And then there's a card group statue there for £9. It's nothing is overpriced at all, everything is very reasonable. Even that elephant there, it's only £39. Um, so I think Matilda's got to be making a little bit of a dent in her pocket money in the shop. Okay, so we've just come to Sheila's Cottage for some lunch. So we've been here before, haven't we? Um, last time we came to the Lake District and my auntie used to come here all the time. So it's really lovely, it's dog friendly. You can take dogs in. And um, we just brought Jasper out for a wee. Um, but when we went in, they gave him a fresh bowl of water. They gave him a tree. Uh, there's other dogs in there. So we've been smelling them, hasn't he? And having a little wander around. There is another side that doesn't have dogs. So don't worry if you don't want dogs near you when you're eating your food, it's not a problem. Um, but it's just down this little kind of alleyway here. But it's lovely, isn't it? It's really lovely. So this is just a little look at the menu. So they're open in the evening from five and their lunchtime menu, they open at 12 till half past four. So I ordered the, um, oh, my mum's ordered the rare bit. I ordered the quiche, but with, take, with um, chips instead of spicy wedges. Matilda's ordered the kids sausage and you've ordered the haddock, haven't you, for now? So it, apparently it's just come in. So we're gonna go in and have a look. So there's all the opening times and it says dogs are welcome. Now. So this is my quiche with chips and salad. Oh wow, look at your fish and chips. Oh, we should bring it in a minute. Oh, nice. oh, you Jasper knows she's got sausages because his nose is up. So we've come out of that Sheila's cottage. Sheila's cottage. It was really nice. The food was really nice and it came in big, nice portions. We all really enjoyed it. And now we're going to... We've had a look in the chocolate shop. Now we're going to another chocolate shop. And now we're just looking at the other one because we went to the wrong chocolate shop. We didn't get to, we didn't get to the wrong chocolate shop. We just we knew there was two. Yeah. The other one. Yeah. And then I think we're going to head home. So this is the chocolate shop. This is the one that we looked at this morning, but it was actually closed. So it's here. It's called the Old Bank House Chocolates. So we're going to go in and we're going to have a look. So it's really, really nice in here. Um, it's probably similar to the um, the other one, but I just prefer I just prefer this one. Um, so lots of stuff will be the same, but it all says, look, made on the premises, made on the premises. That's what I like with it, is that everything's made on the premises. Um, so look at all this white chocolate buttons, dark buttons, milk buttons, milk and white rainbows, rainbows, 
raisins, really nice. Look at all the little truffles and stuff. So we're just going to have a little look round. I'm sure we'll end up buying something because it's really lovely. Okay, so we bought a few things, but I might just do a little thing when we get home maybe of what we've bought today. So this is the car park. So it's Lake Road Car Park. Um, you drive down and then you come down to the car park here. So it's a pay and display car park. Um, so literally like it's right there into the middle. So there's a bunch of peaks there. Um, and then it's here where they do all different things like kayaking, canoeing, you can book all different excursions from them. Um, but we've just come to this little car park here, which is really nice, really quiet. It's a lovely little car park. How much was it now? The car park. There we go. So it was seven pounds for six hours. So you've got all here and all down there as well. Um, but I think that's going to end the video here until we get home and then I will continue it. And we're back home. So as promised, here is everything we got from our little trip to the Lake District visit today. So this is the apple pie. It did kind of crumble a bit, but I'm not really bothered. It looks so good. Oh, I'm going to eat that. It looks really good. So it's already pre-cooked. So all we're going to do is warm it up later. He put it in this bag. And then we did ask for a box. It did go in this box as well, but it still got a little bit crumpled in the car. So I think it was less than five, I can't remember, but on the video I did tell you how much it was. Definitely less than five pounds. Then I got this from the Mountain Warehouse shop. Now they had a really big sale, so it should have been, or it doesn't say, I think it should have been like 25 pounds and it was 15 pound. I think it was like 10 pound off. And it's basically like a really nice little linen shirt with little lighthouses on but i thought it's really good for the cruise that we're going on soon um so it's super soft and snuggly it's so lovely and um, really thin so i'm saying soft and snuggly when it's nice and thin and linen <laughs> um so that was from the mountain warehouse shop then matilda got these books from the bookshop so she's got the naughtiest school girl collection one which is three books in one so then she wanted the collection two. So it was $3.99 and it's four books in this one. And then she got collection three for $3.99 for three books as well again, which is really good. Then the little shop, um, like a little crafting shop, um, our daddy said she could choose something. So one of these little carvings. It did have group, but she really liked this one with the baby owls. And this was £10. I can't believe how cheap it was. Um, so it's like probably like carved little owls there into the centre. So it's all been stained and treated this year, but it will need another going over next year. And then she chose this for a pound. So it's like a piece of wood that someone's painted on. And then they've stuck a little magnet on the back as well. So it's like a little fridge magnet. Then we bought Aunt's Nan some chocolates because it's her birthday soon. So I got all the luxury handmade chocolate and truffle set. So it says the old bank house amble side. I don't think it says what's in them. Um, it had a thing on the side in the shop telling you. Then we chose a bag of chocolate, milk chocolate covered cinder toffee. I'm trying to remember. Basically, I think all of this together came to like £22. Um, the chocolates were about 18 or something. Um, and then this was about three. And then this is where you just like choose your chocolates from the, from, your, from the side yourself. So Matilda chose a strawberry and a lemon cupcake chocolate. I got a Viennese whirl and I got a little um, violet round cream. And that's like a honeycomb, um, like a milk chocolate honeycomb crunch piece. It's just basically where you pick them off the side and they put them together in a bag and tell you the price. But that was... That was all we got today, which is not too bad. So we've got our apple pie for later. I've got a new top. Matilda's got some new books. We've got something new for the garden and a magnet. We've got some chocolates for Aunt's Nan's birthday. And we've got some little bits for ourselves. So all in all, not a bad day at all. So there you go. That's everything we bought in the Lake District in Ambleside today. And our little day out in Ambleside. I'm sorry that the video and stuff probably wasn't amazing today. I mean, we are, we're not professional vloggers or anything. We do it just so that we record our memories and that we can share it with people. I like to think that like we're giving people help and information. And if you went to those places, you get to kind of like watch it and see what it's like there and see how accessible things are and see what type of things are out to do. And that's why I always like to give prices on things so that people can know how much things cost. 
um, and give a review on what we thought of food and things. So you know if you want to go to that place, you know what it's like and how much it's roughly going to cost you and what the menus look like. Um, but like I said, we are not professional vloggers. We're just a little family of three. Well, three plus a doggy. <laughs> um, and we just do it just for fun. So we do appreciate all the likes and subscribes and comments that we get. We really appreciate them. We really do. Um, obviously, we had a mum with us today and she wasn't too keen on being filmed today and stuff. Um, so it made it a little bit more difficult. But we tried our best. We filmed what we could and we had a really nice day. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please make sure you like and subscribe. We're so close to our 2000 subscribers, which means we've got a big giveaway, including a Minnie and Mickey Runaway Railway Lounge Fly. So make sure you clicking on that as well on our videos and putting a comment in there to be entered into the draw like i said please make sure you subscribe like hit that notification bell and give us a comment below and let us know if you've enjoyed this video we will see you all soon it's bye for now and thank you for watching